With technology advancing at dizzyingly rapid levels, it was only a matter of time before a company produced an HUD head-up display. For a motorcycle helmet, the concept is the same as its application on military aircraft instead of moving eye focus downward toward an instrument panel and away from the area in front of you and losing a good portion of situational awareness, you can project important information into the operator's field of view that can be more quickly and easily accessed. The new Viz projects an image into the lower right portion of rider's field of view via a translucent optical prism housing on the device that attaches by means of a strong adhesive tape to the outside of a full-face helmet's chin bar meaning that you can use it with any full-face helmet. The result is an image that can be quickly and easily seen without obstructing the rider's field of view. There are four main functions GPS-based navigation, phone, music, and photo-video capabilities all are controlled by a small left handlebar mounted remote. There are five main screens that can be toggled through the main speedometer, maps, calls, phone, music, and rides. There is also a smartphone app that allows you to program rides in the navigation page, maintain a profile, and view your stats on rides. Firmware updates are already becoming available that can be easily uploaded through the app. The main speedo screen displays a digital speedometer, with smaller digits. Showing the current road's speed limit exceeding the speed limit turns the numbers red, as well as optionally activating an audio warning. Plus the road name. If you've planned a route on the ride screen, a GPS-generated directional arrow also displays distance to the next turn. It's the navigational capabilities that are the new Viz's main forte. The map screen shows a zoomable two-dimensional map that also displays your speed plus max posted speed. The ride screen allows you to generate and memorize trips, as well as locate the nearest gas station. When you're embarking on a planned route, the map screen changes to a 3D-style layout that allows you to see upcoming turns on your route more easily. There are voice prompts for the navigation, the road names are not mentioned. The Music and calls screens display info generated by your smartphone via Bluetooth connectivity, so numerous functions for both can be controlled by the remote. We weren't overly impressed with the sound quality of both functions. The system can't overcome wind noise above 60 miles per hour. In max, vol significantly increases distortion. People on the receiving end of our phone calls also reported Bella Waverage audio quality. Unfortunately there is no intercom connectivity you can connect through a Sena or Cardo device, but Nuvis claims it will have communication features updates. By the end of the year, a camera that can capture 8 megapixel still images or 1080p 30fps video is mounted below the prism housing in a ball swivel so that it can be adjusted depending on how the Nuvis is mounted and the rider's position. Pushing a dedicated button on the remote displays a screen that shows the camera's view and controls whether still or video images. Our recorded files are stored in a micro SD card. Still images are also uploaded to your phone. There's no getting around the new Viz's size, though part of that is due to all the functionality as well as the replaceable 3250 mAh battery that provides a good amount of usage before it needs recharging. We easily averaged about 5 to 6 hours that included lots of video and navigational usage. And its 8.5 ounces not including the mounting plate, speakers, microphone, and wiring is a fair amount of weight to have on the helmet's chin bar, though it wasn't overly noticeable. Aerodynamic dragon wind noise wasn't an issue until around 75 miles per hour, and the unit is designed to tear off easily in the event of a crash. There's also the little matter of price. The Nuvis isn't cheap at $699. The new Viz definitely has a lot of useful features all rolled into one, and the software infrastructure is there for easy upgrades. If you're not afraid of being an early adopter, and would like a cutting-edge piece of tech, the new Viz is worth checking out.